how to pray against the strange woman, the side chick, the other woman in your marriage. Genesis 2.24 says that, um, Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave uh, unto his wife, and they, they shall be one of flesh. I want you to take note of the word uh, cleave. Uh, so a man, according to God's word, is supposed to leave his father's house and mother's house and cleave to his wife. To cleave is to hold on to, just like a child holds on to the mother. And uh, that is the way that um, a husband should cleave uh, to his wife. And if this is not happening, I want you to stay uh, and watch the video to the end, how to pray against the strange woman, the other woman, the side chick in your marriage. Uh, this is uh, one of the enemies uh, of marriage in Jesus' uh, mighty name. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I invite you to do so. I see that you're just watching the videos you are not subscribing. Um, I want to uh, request you please subscribe. It's free. And uh, that is going to be a great blessing. Press the notification uh, bell button uh, before I get into how you are going to pray for the soul of your husband in Jesus. A mighty name. So Genesis 2, 24, it talks about a man shall leave his father's house and cleave uh, to his wife. Uh, hold on uh, to his wife. And uh, this is a decision of the will. So in this video, we shall be praying uh, for the soul of your spouse, for the soul of your husband in Jesus' uh, mighty name. Uh, so you first uh, need uh, to uh, forgive uh, your husband. Uh, walk in forgiveness. Ask God to give you a pure heart and a clean heart. And ask the Father and ask the Holy Spirit uh, to give you peace in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the soul of a person is very important and that is why you see that um, for the people who uh, want to uh, influence the soul of your husband and even uh, where witchcraft is involved they use the soul because the soul is the mind the will and the emotions and the will is the mind is the decision uh, seat of, 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 of a person and somebody's will also is involved and their emotions, the feelings are there in the soul. Uh, so when you're praying against the strange woman in your uh, marriage, the side chick, the other woman, you should uh, pray uh, for the soul of your husband in this particular case and if you're dealing with the wife, you should pray for the soul of of your wife in Jesus a mighty name in Genesis 2 24 we see from a uh, chap uh, from a uh Chap, uh, from verse 2 and Adam gave names to all cattle and the fall of the air and every beast of the field but Adam but for Adam there was not found any help meet for him so when Adam was naming uh, the animals he was given this assignment by God he did not find a suitable helper and that is one of the roles of the wife and that is why we are praying uh, for the soul of the husband in Jesus mighty name so it continues to say as you go down and the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh thereof so we see that our God uh, took something out of Adam so they were compatible and that is why uh, Adam that is why in verse 22 it says and the rib which the Lord had taken uh, from from man made he woman and brought her unto the man so god is the one who gives you a wife it says he who finds a wife finds a good thing in jesus a mighty name and so if your marriage is under attack of the strange woman the other woman the side chick one of the uh, things that you can do is pray for the soul of your husband in Jesus, a mighty name. But uh, you must uh, first ask God 
uh, to cleanse you, uh, to forgive you. And uh, you must forgive also your spouse. You must forgive your husband. Have a pure heart. The word of God in Psalms 51 says, Create within me a clean heart and renew the right spirit. Because you do not uh, want to pray uh, from a place of unforgiveness, from a place of uh, bitterness. You want to pray uh, from a place of of wholeness in Jesus a mighty name because uh, the word of God also says uh, we should have a gentle and a quiet spirit a spirit of peace and where there is peace in your soul uh, the prayers are over the soul are going to be effective in Jesus name because Jehovah Rohi is the shepherd of your soul so once you repent um, and ask God to just forgive you, um, uh, forgive your husband, um, ask God to cleanse your soul by the blood of Jesus. I've shared several videos, an entire playlist on the strange woman. Uh, please, you can watch them here or here, and that would be a great uh, blessing. Then you can follow up on this uh, video. Uh, so the, how to pray against the strange woman, the other woman, the side chick in your husband's uh, life or in your marriage. So we are praying uh, for the soul of your husband because the soul, the mind is the, is the uh, decision place, is the seat of the emotions, is the seat of the will, and the soul of a person is very important because we use the soul to make decisions. We use the soul to process in Jesus' mighty name. And also uh, when um, the strange woman, the other woman, initially when they were capturing your husband, most of them visited uh, an evil altar and um, uh, incantation, uh, witchcraft, divination, uh, um, um, sorcery was done uh, from the uh, realm of the soul to capture your husband. And that is how, uh, that is the genesis. Uh, so, and then it, it was uh, from there, that is why you find that it progressed and it emanated uh, from the soul. So you have to not only pray uh, for him, but you pray for his soul in Jesus' uh, mighty name. Because witchcraft is about manipulating the will of a person. It is uh, forcing a person, um, having uh, to uh, shift their will uh, through either manipulation, uh, through suggestions are uh, all manner of uh, manipulation are uh, to shift are uh, to influence the will of a person against a uh, uh, the person. So that is why we are praying for the soul of your husband in Jesus name from a pure heart, from a clean heart with wisdom, with understanding asking the Father to cleanse us, asking the Holy Spirit to overshadow us and to give us peace in Jesus our mighty name. And so from this uh, now we see also that uh, Genesis uh, talks about um, cleaving. Yeah? Cleaving is attaching yourself to something or to somebody and that is what god um says in his word so a man uh, should cleave to his uh, wife and 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 that cleaving is now what we are going to pray we are just going to use this as uh, same scriptures uh, back to God and, 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 and pray for the soul of your husband in Jesus uh, mighty name based on Genesis 2 uh, from verse uh, 20 to 24 we are here in verse 23 and Adam and Adam said this is bone of my bone uh, so uh, your husband and wife is from is bone of your bone yeah you are made there's something there's a component uh, that comes out uh, from your husband uh, to you that is why God uh, removed the rib uh, from the man and made woman so that there is a connection that's one of the places where the not only the soul comes into connection but the body that's why it says they become one flesh they don't become one spirit they become one a flesh and and also because of the cleaving uh, their soul begin to be tied uh, together in Jesus our mighty name so we are praying 
against the strange woman, the other woman, the side chick in your marriage in Jesus a mighty name. Remember to like, share, comment, comment down uh, below in Jesus a mighty name and follow for more. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I invite you to do so. I see that you're just watching the videos you are not subscribing. Um, I want to uh, request you please subscribe it's free and uh, that is going to be a great blessing press the notification uh, bell button uh, before I get into how you are going to pray for the soul of your husband in Jesus a mighty name remember to like share comment comment down uh, below in Jesus a mighty name and follow for more